everyone. My name is Tawina Williams Gulliman, and here is my testimony. In the month of October 2021, my husband and I, we contracted the coronavirus. During that period, we were a bit concerned because I was then pregnant. Also, during that period, we were both hospitalized. First, I was hospitalized for three days. The reason being because I could not have felt my baby moving like I would. Thankfully to God, after much prayers, I was released, baby was healthy, and so was I. My husband was then hospitalized, also for three days. He was diagnosed with short-term psychosis due to the coronavirus. That happened in October. In November, my mom passed away. November 25th, to be exact. That was the hardest pill that I ever had to swallow. She passed away in Grenada, and I, living in Suriname, I was unable to travel due to the pregnancy to attend the funeral. I was really taken back. I was heartbroken, but I knew that I had to be strong for the baby. I prayed to God and asked that He bless me with strength, strength beyond measure, strength that is not of myself. Thankfully to God, He granted that to me. Even before I asked, He gave me that strength that no man could have given. He gave me a peace that passeth all understanding. He allowed me to be at peace, knowing that my mom passed away. And I knew that she lived a good life. And I know that once I continue to live the life that God wants me to live, that I will see her again. I would have been through a rough patch. But guess what? God never gave up on me. My mom's favorite text came from Isaiah, the text that says, when you pass through the waters, they will not overflow. And when you go through the fire, you will not be burned. And so I held on to that text, knowing that these trials, these trying moments will not last forever. I thank God for the blessings that He bestowed upon my family. I thank Him for the Serena mission, for our family and friends who poured out their love towards us. The support they gave to us is compared to no other. Let me tell you something. When you ask God of something, He gives you more than you can ask for. And my advice, my admonition to anyone hearing my voice is not to give up on God. You pray for something, keep praying for it. You ask God for something, keep asking for it. And you may think that you're asking for too much, but God said in His Word, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and it shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Don't give up on God because He won't give up on you. Stay faithful to God even in the trying times.